Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll analyze the differences between a SIM card and an eSIM card. Let's begin. A SIM card, also known as a Subscriber Identity Module card, is a small removable card in cellular devices that stores user identity and authentication information for accessing mobile networks. eSIM then, which stands for Embedded Subscriber Identity Module, is an electronic version of a SIM card. Today, we'll compare and contrast the differences between the two, including size, activation process, carrier switching scenarios, security, and durability. Let's dive in. Starting from the overall visual difference, a SIM card is a small removable plastic card with an embedded chip that stores user data. An eSIM card, on the other hand, is a small chip embedded directly into the device's motherboard, which cannot be removed or replaced by the user. Moving on to size difference, SIM cards come in different sizes, such as standard, micro, and nano. That's not the case with an eSIM card. It's extremely small, even smaller than a nano SIM card. Activation process for these two cards couldn't be more different. For instance, a SIM card requires physical insertion into a device. An eSIM card is far more technically advanced. All activation processes can be done digitally via scanning a QR code and downloading a carrier profile. The same goes when looking into carrier switching scenarios. Doing so with your SIM card requires physically swapping it out for another carrier's SIM card. eSIM card users, on the other hand, can switch carriers through software settings without needing a new physical card. For instance, the capability to remotely switch carriers is highly beneficial for preparing your routers for deployment in another country. In this case, you don't need to purchase multiple physical SIM cards for your networking devices, just switch their carriers remotely before they cross the border and enjoy a clutter and worry-free work environment. As you might already know, SIM cards can only store a single carrier profile at a time. With an eSIM card, this number is much larger. You can store multiple carrier profiles simultaneously, allowing users to switch between them without needing multiple cards. Looking at security and durability, there are also many differences. For example, having to insert and remove the physical SIM card can lead to physical damage due to wear and security risks, such as your card being stolen and used for malicious purposes. On the contrary, an eSIM card is more secure because it's embedded in the device itself and is not easily accessible. All physical risks are nullified since, you know, it's not physical. However, if your eSIM device is damaged, you cannot simply remove your SIM card and put it in another device as you would do with your SIM networking device. Although SIM cards require physical slots and additional space within your device, this isn't the case with eSIM cards. eSIM cards free up space within devices, allowing for potentially thinner designs or more room for other components. If you would like to get a hold of your very own eSIM device, we have just the thing. Our RUT241 eSIM router, equipped with LTE CAT4 and both eSIM and traditional SIM for even more flexibility. Check the link in the comments below for more information. We hope you've enjoyed this comparison. If you have any questions, requests, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.